Merciless. Brings up second and ten. At the 48. They run with Howard. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. A good run by Jordan Howard, and now another first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking with those big behemoths starting to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. And he gets it down to the 32. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Now Howard. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Oh, lots of praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Carson Wentz. And the Eagles able to push further out in front.